So here is this desk mat that I want to buy on AliExpress. As you can see over here, it costs $5, but um, the shipping fee is $3. So let's just say roughly $9. So I want to be using gray. I want to use their, their virtual dollar card to buy this mat. And uh, yeah, let's see if it will work. I just deposited 9,000 Naira. And uh, after removing their commission, I have 8,874 Naira. I want to swap it to dollar now. But before I swap it, let's see if I can use the amount here and convert it to dollars by using their virtual cards. So I'll click virtual cards and I'll click create virtual card. So I want to create this one. I'll click get started and it's asking for my BVN so I'm going to enter it. So after entering my BVN, I'll just click continue. Alright, so now it's saying I will be charged a one-time fee for the card. Do I agree? Uh, yes, let's see if it will work. Yeah, it says feature not available. So I'm not sure why it's not working right now. So I'm going to convert the money to dollars and see. Okay, now I'm going to convert the money to dollars. I'll click swap and then click USD and I'll just impute everything. So that's $11. Just click here and proceed. Okay, so now I have $11 in my account and I'll try it again and see. Yes, create my virtual dollar card. Still says feature not available. Well, as you can see, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do now is talk to customer service and see if they can help me with it. And I'll get back to the video. Well, believe it or not, it's been two days since I tried to create the virtual dollar card and it didn't work. So what I did was I contacted Gray and they told me that uh, they were aware of the situation and they were going to fix it. So they told me to try later that evening, but I, I forgot. When I say I forgot, I, I just lost interest in trying that day. I wanted to give them enough time to fix the issue. So it's been two days and uh, yesterday I emailed them and they told me that they had fixed the issue. So I'm going to try again this morning. What you need to do before you create the virtual dollar card, you send some money to your Nera account. I have a video about that. But you can also transfer to the account. You don't really have to deposit via login into your account with their website. So that's what I did. I transferred to the account just like you normally transfer to your family and friends. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on that. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. So after you have transferred the money to the account, the next thing you want to do is to swap the money to US dollars. At least that's what I did. So after that, you click on virtual cards. Then you click create virtual card. You can do this on your phone. I'm just using my laptop for convenience as usual. And then you click get started. So you have to enter your BVN. Obviously, I'm going to hide my BVN and then click continue. Okay, so you can see over here, it says you will be charged a one-time fee of $1 for card creation. And also an additional $2 will be deducted from your balance to fund your card. Do you agree to continue? Well, that depends on how much I'll have left. Maybe I will not be able to buy this stuff. I mean, it costs $5, but I still have to pay for shipping. So everything may cost up to $9, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to click, yes, create my virtual dollar card. All right, so it says uh, card request is processing and I believe it is done. So I have successfully created the virtual dollar card. And uh, yeah, so this is the card number. I'm going to blur out some things. This is the card CVV and uh, expiry date and the rest. So. Okay, I think it just added $2 to the card. It's not like $2 was an extra fee. Let me check the rest of my balance and see. So for USD, I still have $8 in my USD, which is very nice. So the $2 is not a fee per se, it's just a way to fund the account, just to fund the card, not the account, to fund the card, just to make sure the card has some money. So I'm going to add to, um, $8, not $2. Um, so I'll click on add money. I'll select my USD and Yeah, so you cannot send our uh, money. You cannot add money from your Nera account Maybe it's because I have zero Nera in my Nera account. Maybe I'll test that later on So according to this for now, you cannot add money from your Nera account. So I'm going to add everything because I'm not going to be using it for anything. Well, I was going to add everything but I'm pressing the points like the full stop button where it's not working. So that means you cannot add decimals. You can't have 20.57 or so. So I'm just going to click confirm and continue. Okay, it says the card was deposited successfully, but let me refresh. Okay, so now it's 10. So I can 
try to see if it will work on aliexpress so let's head over to aliexpress and uh, this time i want to select this blue one because i already have the red one for me if i look at the red color for too long it starts to feel somehow in my eyes so that's why i want to get this blue one okay so i've selected the blue one i'm going to click buy now now i'm going to add a payment method so here it says select payment method just click it and i'll add a new card so it's asking for the card number so i'll come over to gray i'll click on this to copy the card number then i'll paste it here next i'll get the expiry date and the cvv all right so i can click here to save the card to my aliexpress account or if i don't want it i can just um, click skip and it will be it will not be saved so i'm just going to save it for now and then i'll click save and confirm okay so as you can see over here the total is 8.39 and yeah everything else looks okay so i'm going to click pay now and yeah it worked payment successful so the gray card works and i'm very glad because a lot of people were talking about it and i tried it the first time it didn't work second time it didn't work and now it's working so finally so i hope this was a good step-by-step -step process on how to create your gray virtual dollar card i may be wondering why you want to have this card well for payments like this obviously and you know that um the central bank has stopped all Nera cards from transacting internationally so you cannot pay in dollars with your Nera card and as you carry out your YouTube journey there are times when you're going to have to start paying for stuff in dollars and if you can't use a Nera card and you don't have a DOM account yet then this is a good alternative. I've made videos on GigPay, Cheaper Cash, now Gray and I'm going to try Clasher in the future. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the, uh, in the description, in the comments. Alright, so yeah, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a like. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, you can look around the channel. If you find videos you're interested in, then this would be a nice place for you. Alright, I'll be seeing you in the next video.